Well, hello everybody, this is Stan again at Masturbators, Sport Fishing and Tackle here in Puerto Vallarta with your weekly fishing report. Uh, I'll turn the camera here so you can see a little bit. You can see we're getting a, maybe you can't see very well, but we're getting a little bit of rain right now, which is always a good thing, especially this time of the year. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, this week we're going to talk once again about what's going on in Corbitania, what's going on out there with, uh, with our fishing grounds. Right now, you know, things are much the same as it was last week, maybe just a little bit on the downside. We don't have any more striped marlin in Corbitania. They finally pulled out, but that's not surprising because they normally like cooler water temperatures. So 85 degrees, a little bit on the warm side for them. So they probably head up to Cabo like they normally do this time of year. Uh, we haven't seen any black marlin come in yet at Corbitania. Of course, that's 35 miles out from Puerto Vallarta. And it takes about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer to get out there. It just depends on what the conditions are out there. But normally it's about right. And uh, we're seeing yellowfin tuna out there, anywhere from 40, 50 pounds to, well, you know, you're still seeing some out there over 150, but I would say 50 to about 100 pounds would be more of your average range right now. Uh, Dorado are out there. We got pretty good numbers. They're still small. They're all babies. It's just really early for the season. We're just happy to see bigger numbers like that. But, uh, you know, uh, they make good bait, you know. Just, just can't run them, control them, they die. Uh, what else is going on out there? Sailfish, got a lot of sailfish out there. Numbers picking up just a couple miles off the rock. Pretty much can't go wrong out there for a 10 hour day. Uh, the bite's still happening midday. That seems a little weird, but hasn't changed for quite a while. There's just massive amounts of live bait out there. Red runners, green runners, flying fish, sardines, bullet skippies, skipjack tuna, you name it. There's all kinds of bait out there right now. So no problem making bait. It always doesn't hurt to get any in the morning on the way out though. It's always natural. Uh, for the folks coming in to uh, a little closer in, uh, there have been some people catching some wahoo, believe it or not, out there just around El Moro. There's a spot off the backside of El Moro, gets pretty deep, and from El Moro out to, oh, about halfway to Corbitania right now, it looks like it's a pretty fertile area for wahoo, although I'm not going to say there's a lot of people out there catching them. Selfish have been moving a lot into that area also, so it's possible you can see a strike marlin anywhere from, oh, just about a mile or two off. Uh, El Moro and out to Corbitania, so you know we got blue marlin out there. They're they're running, you know, about 250 to 350, maybe 400 pounds if you're lucky. But they'll be getting bigger by the day. Uh, no black marlin as yet, but uh, we're expecting to see them here pretty soon. Uh, just about that time of year, we're coming into August now, so they should start showing up here pretty soon. When you get a little bit of closer in Punta Namita, we got sailfish off the point, finding any kind of floating debris. You're going to find Dorado out there. You can see something 15, 20 pounds out there. But again, remember to throw the babies back. We have blue water everywhere, even though we've been getting some rain, so we've got a pretty active trash line inside the bay, and we got some mature trash lines out there around Putanamita. We've been getting rain every couple of days now, so we're finally starting to see these seasonal rains come in like they're supposed to. Uh, inside the bay, it's uh, been kind of a funny week. Normally, fishing inside the bay, you can't go wrong. Four, six hour trip, you'd be fine, but what we've seen this week is we've seen a lot of orca whales come into the bay. And, you know, orcas, they're funny fish, they eat everything. They eat jacks, they eat bait, and they're eating turtles. Yeah, and believe it or not, they're out there eating turtles. Everything eats turtles out there, just amazing. So they've been kind of scaring fish away, so anywhere you find an orca, orca pod, there's only one out there that's got one male, I'll tell you, they got one male out there, he's got a fin on the back of him. It's, 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 it's three meters, it's nine feet high. I mean, the biggest fin I've ever seen on any kind of orca ever, and it came up the other day when we were out there, I wish I had the camera. And uh, it's got a big fat fin out there, a couple males. You got about six females out there, and they're pretty much roaming the bay and just having a good time chowing down on everything. Of course, that's what the bay is all about, right? So things have been good. We're seeing water temperatures still running about 85 degrees. Things haven't changed much. Uh, currents are pretty much the same. Blue water, and like I said, the trash line in the bay. We still got jack rebels over there near Yalapa. You can still see some tuna over there, but don't don't expect them to be hitting during the bite. You have to chum with live bait, and uh, you have to get them to come up. So that's a little bit of a challenge. But uh, jack rebels are starting to thin out. They're still over there in front of the river mouse. Um, yellowfin tuna are picking up. We got a lot of dorado in the bay. A lot of dorado, but they're also small. You just I almost didn't want to tell you about it. We've seen some rooster fish over there near the beaches off. Uh, off uh, the uh, Punta Negra area and uh, very nice so I mean get some rooster fish over there they've been running 15 pounds sometimes they get a little bigger just remember just just throw the babies back this is still early season fishing but uh, the, the point I'm trying to get across here is if you're going out there for 10 hours you still have shot at tuna around 100 pounds you got blue marlin you got sailfish 
Uh, if you guys want to do some bottom fishing, you still got some uh, Kubera snappers out there. You might wind up seeing something else as well. You never know what you're going to see out there. So all in all, the fishing is really great. If you're going to go out in the bay, I'd recommend a six-hour trip just to make sure that if the orcas come around, you have time to zip over and maybe find something else. But, uh, you know, over by La Cruz, they're still seeing sailfish. And over by Los Arcos, they got sailfish as well. Like I said, the striped marlin are pulling out. So we're in a little bit of a transition period species-wise, but Benita are starting to show up again. So And Benita's part of the tuna family, so you catch them for bait and you still eat them. I eat them all the time. So there you go. That's about it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoy these reports. We're going to do them every week. We've been uh, getting a pretty good uh, response from them. People like to uh, watch and not read if they have to, especially if they're on their cell phone. So all in all, we're doing good here in Puerto Vallarta. They're, we're still open. Things are going back and forth. Of course, they're making a lot of noise, but down here they don't really collect any numbers about who's sick or, or, or well, I don't even know what they, how to explain it, but right now it's, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of science here. It just seems like they could get a little bit, I don't know. But right now we're still open, so if you're getting ready to come down and make a reservation, I suggest you either uh, fire me an email or give me a phone call. All that information is always here in the, on the site. And, um, you know, like I said, if you have any questions about anything, just feel free to call me. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer. So for now, this is pretty much what we got. I'm going to get going. And, hey, don't forget to catch your fish. We'll see you later. Also, wait, come on. Time to go back in.